today we'll focus on one of the most important actions to take before and after the content itself, which is marketing pre and post publication. This segment is brought to you by Lil Nouns and Expansion DAO, based on the famous Nouns DAO who fund cool creative endeavors which can proliferate the nounish meme. So everyone would be obviously very, very happy if all they had to do was publish and all the attention arrived immediately. But what is clearly obvious is that when you're starting out and actually even when you are more established, doing a little bit extra before and after you publish is pretty helpful, making sure your content increases in reach. So here are a few concrete ways that I've come up with the things that we do for the show, which help to continuously remind people of our presence and what we are doing. So pre-show, there is of course the announcement tweet and everyone loves the announcement. Sometimes even an announcement of an announcement can be good for building up excitement too. Our post announcing DK's interview on the show, for example, did 12K views and got a lot of people signing up for the show. So that was great. But we also shared it with our partners, Shape and Gondi in case they missed it too, so they could share too. I also noticed, for example, how Bread has been writing things like this. He said the other day with respect to L2's last call for the high throughput L2's before he starts digging in and then listing all the L2's on his radar already. I think this is a great example of how A, you can just vocalize what you're doing and focusing on so people know. And second, to get people engaged, to get them on your radar, to try to convince you that they need to focus on you instead of what they're already focusing on. Post-show, there are also multiple things you can do too. Screenshots of the show, people having fun typically work as well as clips of the best highlights from the show. A key learning for me, actually, and this is kind of philosophical in some sense, is people care as much about things happening as being there for when they happen. Meaning, if you manage to secure a particular interview, people don't necessarily need to be there for the interview to agree that it was important. They just need to know about it before or after. So that pre and post show excitement is crucial to create. One, just being vocal, right? Like doing that stuff and letting people come to you. And two, not like posting through the less engagement moments to ultimately curate the group of people that you want to engage with. We mentioned last week that like I feel the need to start posting about meme coins and stuff occasionally because like it is such a hot topic. That's not what I do. It's like tempting to kind of lean into it a little bit. And then like in those moments, I just continue to post about L2s and architecture and like, you know, educational content and shit like that, which like maybe isn't the thing that's going to be the hottest thing on the timeline. But over time, it is building up people that do engage in that content and connects me with those people so that when meme coins fade, which they will because everything goes through cycles, is I've curated my listeners that ultimately engage with my content. That is something that I enjoy and like, yeah, you just kind of push through some of that stuff. Thank <laughs> you.